Good afternoon YouTube, MJ here with another review. This time we're going to be looking at something that I got as a late Christmas gift from my fiance. And that's the Make Toys Battle Tanker. Uh, for the Battle Sentinel Shattered Glass SP. Uh, this is a Battle Tanker add-on that was released as a Big Bad Toy Store and Upgrade Commander exclusive for your Generation 2 BotCon 2012 Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. Uh, as you can see, it's just a basic repaint of the Shattered Glass Prime. However, they did add some accessories for the cap section. As you can see, there's an entirely new front section. And if you flip it over, you can see there's even more add-ons. Uh, it does not inhibit its ability to roll at all. It still rolls pretty freely. The color match the purple, pretty much identical to the Shattered Glass one. It doesn't have all the weathering that, and battle scars that the Prime does on the new tanker, but still looks really nice. They conveyed over the Till All Are Gone from the original Shattered Glass Op 2008 Optimus Prime. Uh, some subtle highlights of neon green throughout, as well as the gold and silver chrome in this mold. Um, all in all, this particular mode isn't really that impressive, but it's there and it's a good starting point. So for now, we'll quick set aside the actual battle tanker. Uh, you will find in this mode there are a few accessories that don't actually have clip-on points. Uh, you can just throw them in the empty space in the battle tanker. Um, I really don't do that partially because I don't display it in battle tank, the tanker mode, in it, but in addition, if you open it up, you have a chance of losing some of the smaller little spikes. Just something to watch out for. So we'll begin by getting Prime ready for his transformation. First thing you're going to want to do is slide up on this front section. Now that's going to be the new chest piece, which is a brand new sculpted piece. As you can see, it's got black, purple, gold. Really nicely detailed. And it's a cool new little feature. From there, most of your transformation is going to be just like the original Prime. Flip up the tanks. Pull the arms out to the side, separate the crotch, or the legs, and pull the sword out. Now this is where you're going to see one of the parts that you do need to replace. Just like the original Battle Tanker, uh, it does come with a new crotch section that's painted all black. It doesn't have the gold that the old one did, and then it, but it's got four or three little holes in it, and those are going to be to attach the new crotch section for the combined mode. From there, flip them around, flip open the panels, and tuck the wheels in. Now mine actually, oddly enough, stick pretty well. I'm not really sure why they, if it's just a little bit extra flashing or what, but whatever. All in all, as long as they're tight, I'm happy. On the other side. Okay. Now, as you can see from the underside, this is where you're going to encounter the new pylons they added. Uh, they just plug into an actual screw hole inside Optimus. Don't, don't affect transformation at all, so you just separate the arms like you normally would and rotate them into place. Now the next new piece you're going to find here is this little matrix housing, which I probably am going to fi figure out how to paint to make it match better for when it sh if it shines through the windows at all. But what this is designed to do is, in the original Battle Tanker's instructions, it had you pull the Prime 
torso up just a little bit to make it more proportionate. Well they added this piece that just plugs in and then that'll do that for you so that way you don't have to worry about prime drooping down at all. Um, they did include a, an additional one in this kit so you get both of them are the exact same but you get a second one and I've been using the second one for my actual original battle tanker. Now the last thing you're going to do is flip out the head. And as you can see I've already attached the new head. It's pretty simple. You just take a very small Phillips screwdriver head or Phillips head screwdriver, rotate or screw out the old head, pop it off and screw in the new one. And there you have Optimus or Shattered Glass Optimus ready for his new armor. So we'll prop him back there for just a second. And we'll grab three of the four little pegs that I mentioned earlier. Now because they can't fit on Prime given the clearance issues in vehicle mode, what you're going to want to do is just take them and plug them in. Nothing true spectacular, nothing difficult. Um, if you're wondering why I'm only doing three, uh, I really hate trying to get the spikes out in robot mode, so I'm going to leave one, this one open for the chain accessory in a little bit. All right, now we'll take the new chest. And all you do there is angle it upwards, and it'll clip right on, and then drop the little bars. Now from there, come over to our battle tanker, and we just start ripping parts off. Start off with the backpack. Um, in the original battle tanker, this was an LED pack. Uh, it's not in this for this prime, but it still can serve the same purpose. You just take it and plug it in the back. Uh, now what the photos make toys have put out in regards to this show is either a point to clip on the sword that you're not using, or with the chain weapons, they have a really nice photo of one of the chains coming out wrap around, wrapping around this piece and then using that as a support for the really big sword, which is one of the possible display configurations I'm considering for him. But now that we have that stuff popped off, go back to disassembling the battle tanker. Come around the back, pull off this whole bottom section. This is going to give you two pieces for prime. As you can see, you just wiggle off the hands. And there's that new crotch piece that I mentioned earlier. So for when you plug that in, just right into the holes on this crop, new crotch. Make sure it's nice and tight. Next up, take the hands. Slide them in nice and tight. And make him hold his own hands. Uh, yeah, that joke really wasn't funny, sorry. Next up, pop the entire battle tanker up just a little bit, and slide out the bottom cap section pieces, and these are going to form his feet. So, you just bend them down, flip out the heel, make sure the toes are forward, rotate it around. Now inside, there are two clips, one for each side, and a little peg. What you're going to do is take the foot, make sure the curved side for the wheel is lined up on the outside. Pop the foot in, and then just drop it down into that clip. Then you just fold up the last part of the foot and that'll peg into the bottom of the foot. 
And we do the same thing on the other side. And as you can see, Prime is starting to get quite a bit more bulky. Now, next thing you want to do, break off the front section of the cab, or the trailer, pull up on what's going to be the site, and then separate there. Your sword blade is going to fall out, well, come out, then from there, Pull the small purple parts that are connected to the interior guns out. Now this is where I found is my tightest point on Prime. You're going to come around here and Prime's got the little 3mm clip. So what you're going to do is take the 3mm clip on the new battle tanker forearm, clip it on, and then wrap it around. And just line up the hand as you need it. Same thing on the other side. Yeah. Without popping the uh, crotch piece off. And there you have the completed Shattered Glass Optimus in robot mode. Give him his sword for now. Uh, now the nice thing about his sword is they did actually even match the gold speckle from the original. And this Prime in general is color matched pretty much perfectly. Uh, I give Make Toys a lot of credit for that. I mean, I realize Fans Project has been doing it with their battle, with their city commanders and everything for a long time. But it's something that still amazes me, especially with this, which was had very interesting and odd color patterns. Now, the thing that most people really want to see is Optimus Prime's new face, which is a fully ball jointed. Hill because of the original, so it's not affected even by the size increase, but has some really nice red painted eyes and a gorgeous cracked face mask. Now from the original uh, concept art, you will notice that they've switched to an actual chrome for the spear, as the original concept art showed it, showed it in the gold that's painted on throughout. I think it's an okay touch, nice touch and not really that big of a change. All right, and we'll pull out, since we're zoomed in at this angle already, pull out his other accessories. So the first one to look at is the chain that I had mentioned earlier. So you can see it basically starts off, the tip is the same, pretty much the same chain as what's sticking out. It's just a little longer and more sharp. And the other side is a little nub. And all you do, plug the little nub in. And then that's going to give him what I'm assuming they're using as basically a launching spear chain. You can use it, slide it in his hand, use it as a melee weapon. Or, as I mentioned in the, what the uh, Make Toys shows on their website, hand is they have it coming around leaving a little slack and then wrapping the chain around this part bring the sword around and hooking the sword guard through the chain and using that as a more 
Now they had them a little tighter than I am right now, but basically it makes it just for a nice little sword holder. Because then you can still use the one up here for the little sword if you do so desire. So it's, it's giving it nice storage as well as a more interesting sword display storage option. So we'll quick pop the chain out before my cat jumps up on our viewing screen and plays with it. Plug in the last spear. Now what battle tanker would be complete without the tanker part? So what you're going to want to do, take that front section of the tanker that we took apart earlier, split it open. As you can see there's some nice chrome missiles in there. And we'll plug that in to the little hole, holes in the tanker and the pegs in the side of the feet. Come around, drop this section down, and pull out the backpack, and set Prime aside for now. From there we come over to the battle tanker, drop the leg part down, pull up the back of the tanker, Grab the knob on the bottom, spin it 360 degrees, or 180 degrees, so that way you rotate the entire tanker section. Pull out and around, and just drop it so the just face forward. Slide back the portion that connected to Optimus's trailer. Now you don't have to do this, but I generally do. Pull out the guns, rotate around the panel that's inside of it, and then plug the gun back on. And the main reason I do that is just because it's a nice, it's a tight enough fit that I just don't want to scratch anything. I said just come around and it'll rotate freely in. And the last thing to get that ready is to pull out the handles for Prime. Then you take Prime's tanker backpack, and there are two grooves and slots back here. Just want to pop Prime into that, those and lock it into place. And then just get, plug in the weapons into his hand. and you have a fully armed Prime. Drop the visor if you really want. Now the nice thing about this feature, and it's something I sh took a picture of on, for one of my, the Facebook groups I'm in for Transformers. Because the missile pods are light enough that Prime doesn't actually need to be holding them you can do some really nice maneuvering to have them just standing on their own without I'm doing anything. Assuming I don't keep drop knocking the crotch piece off. Now from there, it frees up his hands for if you want to use, say, have him hold his big saber, if you want him to have one of the chain melee weapons, or what I've been doing, um, as you saw in one, some of my earlier reviews, I kind of have an addiction to Dr. Wu swords. I love the way both the Dr. Wu blades, uh, either the Dark Energon one or the Broken Blade, look on him. It really gives him a nice weaponized look. The slogan on the side is, till all are gone, this would be a nice way to make sure everything is gone that encounters him. But, 
Now for some just quickie size comparisons. We'll pop off the actual full armament mode. And here he is with a regular Reveal the Shield Prime. So as you can see, he is a lot taller than the original Prime. Yeah, especially with the new arm guards, he really gives him a bunch of bulk and heft. And there he is with the original battle tanker. Now, original battle tanker wise, they come out the same because height wise. But I must say the shattered glass one looks and feels a lot nice. Or, um, I think it's because the head is just a much nicer looking head to me, for me. In addition, the new pylons really differentiate it quite a bit. Um, now, here's where things get tricky. Recommending this guy. If it was just general retail releases, I would be telling you to run out and buy it. Uh, however, in this situation, the Battle Tanker itself is $140, and it's a big bed toy store upgrade commander exclusive. So you're looking at $140 plus shipping, $150 low end. The Prime itself, the Botcon Prime that it attaches to, is going for anywhere between $200 and $250 currently. Which means you're looking at $400 for the entire kit. Um, I got the Battle Tanker armor as a gift, and I have got Prime in a trade, so it wasn't that bad for me. For you, it's going to be your mileage may vary. If you can paint well, I would say try to get a cheaper Vila Shield Prime. See it, maybe get the Battle Tanker. Try to color match them as best you can. But it's all going to be your decision of what you think is worth it. Again, $400 is a lot of money if you're paying flat out current going rates. At $400, as much as I love it, I would not recommend it. If you can do what I did, pick up some of the stuff in a trade for old bots, as well as, and then just have maybe the battle tanker that you have to buy at $150 for a limited run of a third party item. It's about right, and it is a very impressive looking bot. Well, I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you soon. Hopefully, shortly, you'll have another battle tanker review. This time, we're going to be looking at the one that's going to go on Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus, or in my case, I will be putting it on the Combat Hero Optimus Prime. Thank you guys, and have a good day.